Can you solve this problem? If seven spiders make seven webs in seven days, then one spider will make one web in how many days? Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Now let's solve the problem using two methods. For the first method, and this is perhaps the easier method, I will call this the arrow method. The problem involves spiders, webs, and days. There are seven spiders, so we have spider one, spider two, spider three, spider four, spider five, spider six, and spider seven. Seven spiders make seven webs. Working at the same rate, this means that each spider can make one web. This means that spider one can make one web, spider two can make one, spider three can also make one, spider four can make one, spider five can make one, spider six can make one, and spider seven can also make one. So each spider can make one web. Seven spiders make seven webs in seven days. So this means that every spider work for seven days. So a spider one makes one web for seven days. Same thing with spider two. Spider three will also take seven days. Spider four, seven days. Spider five, seven days. Spider six, seven days. And spider seven, seven days. So the answer is seven days. This means that one spider will make one web in seven days. Now let's have method two using algebra. This problem involves direct variation and inverse variation. In this problem, the number of spiders is directly proportional to the number of webs. Because as the number of spiders increases, the number of webs they make also increases. On the other hand, the number of spiders is inversely proportional to the number of days. This means that if there's more spiders working, then it takes lesser days to make a web. Again, the number of spiders is inversely proportional to the number of days because as spider increases, the number of days decreases. So that's why we will set up an equation involving inverse proportion and direct proportion. Again, the number of spiders is directly proportional to the number of webs. And in formula, that is S over W. And also, the number of spiders is inversely proportional to the number of days. And for the formula, we have S is inversely proportional to the D, so that's S times D is equal to k, the constant. The number of spiders is directly proportional to the number of webs and inversely proportional to the number of days. Now let's set up the equation using the values of s, d, and w. For the first part, there's seven spiders, seven days, and seven webs is equal to one spider will make one web in how many days? So one spider times, we don't know the days, so we're going to put D, divide by one web, so that means W is 1. 7 times 7 is 49, divide by 7 is equal to 1D. Simplifying this, 49 divided by 7 is 7 is equal to D. So algebraically, we have shown that one spider will make one web in seven days. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.